Hello everyone, finally here's my new shack. I really hope you like it. I'm sorry it took a little while since the time I did so a lot of equipment from my shack to make some room. It took some time before I got back to you with what I what's gonna be new in my shack. And this is because I was waiting for this, which is the IC9700, which is a VHF, UHF, 1.2 gigahertz, all mode, including D-Star radio. This is a full SDR radio as well. You can do a lot of things, okay? And this was only available since last week in Canada. So I'm not very familiar yet with this radio, but I will do a full review as soon as I am familiar with it. And this is very, very cool. I've been waiting for over a year for this video to come out and this was on my list and that was part of the move and I also want to add some change in my shack and equipment and now with all this everything is SDR and all those radio are SDR but also standalone you know what I think about it I really like to have a radio in front of me and the, those radio are SDR, new technology, but they're still high -com radio that you can look and enjoy and they look absolutely beautiful, okay? This was the comment of my wife in 2016, the first time, 2016 or 17, uh, don't remember, I will have to check my video, but that when this radio was launched, uh, my wife, when she saw it at Dayton, she was with me and she says, wow, what a nice radio. You can actually see her N <laughs> right beside the radio in this video. And she really, really loved the looks, the nice colors, nice design. It just looks good. And this one does looks good as well. And this one too. So when you have all of them, together like this, they're about the same width with the two speaker on each side. It's incredible, it looks great. And for this, it's something important for me, the design, the look, you know, it's expensive items. And why not make it look good like those rig, okay? It's just awesome, performance-wide. Both of those radio are very, very popular and mainly this one, okay, because it was out before this one and it's a lot more affordable. It's probably the best deal in the market right now. SDRD radio, full standalone, 100 watts, antenna, automatic antenna tuner integrated. It's covered from 6 to 160 meter all mode. It is great. You have the waterfall spectrum, the spectrum um, display as well. Now it's there's no antenna on it. That's why you don't uh, see uh, uh, it but uh, very well because there's no activity, no antenna on it, but it just looks great. And why I got this radio, okay, a little bit because it matched the other one right on the side, <laughs> which is the, the new 9700, but also because I needed a rig to carry around in the field, to do reviews of portable antenna, to bring on a campground, go field days, whatever. And I think this is the best rig out there to do that you have everything you have in a big station in a small box that you can carry around that's why i got also the carrying handle with it because this is going to be my carrying around rig okay so that's why i got it plus in the shack it looks fabulous with the 9700 on the side the 7610 is actually a, 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 a game changer in radio as well for that price, it is a very, very good deal because I consider this rig a high-end radio. Performance is there. It's very, very awesome. Noise blanker on Icon Radio are great, by the way, and that is well known. So you still have the same thing, but it's an SDR. And this radio also have an RG45 Ethernet port in the back, and it has a network interface. The same thing on the 9700, and you can actually do remote with it, okay, with the ICOM software, the RSBA1 version 2, that you can actually operate this one remote and without having a PC in the shack connected to the radio, okay, it's fully independent. The same thing with the 9700. So this is very, very good. That's why I got the software uh, uh, as well, and I'm going to do a review on that. And I also got the RC28. The RC28 is actually when you plug in and it's plug and play. 
you plug that in the 7610 and you have a second VFO with it. Okay, you can see I can change a VFO. You also have a PTT and then some uh, function button. It's very heavy, it's all metal, it's very, 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 very nice. Okay, it's very, very <laughs> uh, solid item. And you can bring that with your computer when you want to do remote and you connect the USB on the computer and you control the VFO on the computer and also the PTT if you do remote operations. So this is very, very cool. Uh, I got the SM50 as a main mic for the 7610. I already had the SM30. I always keep, you know, I bought these accessories in the past and I kept it in the box and I was waiting, you know, I know that sometime I will get another ICOM radio. So I already add this one, which is great. And I bought two speakers for each side of those rig because I think it looks good. It sounds great. The speaker is facing you. You can use it on both VFO on left and right or combine them. It is very, very, very good. Okay. I know that radio accessories can become expensive. So if you're on a budget, maybe you won't buy external speaker. Maybe it will come later on. But if you can buy the matching accessories, it gives value to your kit. Okay, I know it's expensive, but you will keep that in a long time. And you just have to go into Amfest to see as everybody looking from some discontinued speaker to match their radio and everybody's looking and they kept they keep their value. Every accessories keep its value. So you know it's it, it's not bad so you if you can afford it you should invest in a very uh, matching accessories on that i'll say well if you're not a subscriber please subscribe now and don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is online and stay tuned to the i'm going to do a review on all those radios also on the remote software stay tuned for that and if you like unboxing video well if you stay on this video, you will find all the unboxing at the end. And uh, that was like an hour of unboxing. And uh, it was very fun. I did that with my youngest kid. And you will, uh, if you like unboxing, you will see all the items that I unbox. I, it's like six feet tall of boxes to unbox. That was very cool. It's a one-time experience, okay? Never never made a nor big order like that in the past. So it's very... <laughs> very uh, amazing anyway i'm still uh, impressed and uh, if you like unboxing video you so you you can stay on if you don't like well you can uh, just uh, stop the video otherwise uh, in the next few minutes there will be all the unboxing on that i'll say 73 i will go and play on my new stuff in radios 73 have you ever felt are you listening Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.